Hi, Joe DiMaggio for Adorama TV. My bright idea was to film Robin's nesting, and this is an introduction to videography with your DSLR. Adorama TV presents Visual Impressions with Joe DiMaggio, where you will learn to create compelling and imaginative photography. Here's your host, Joe DiMaggio. The person that's going to give me the service that I want, that I need, that I expect, that I pay for. Adorama does that. Adorama Fix does that. The rental department does that. The professional division does that. They all do it, and that's why I use it. I was brought up in Greenwich Village, New York, and any time I would see a bird, it would either be a pigeon, or if I went to Coney Island or Rockaway, I would see a seagull. Well, since I relocated to the upper Delaware Valley, I now have an abundance of eagles, hawks, etc., etc. A robin has built a nest in my eaves. And last year, for one of the Adorama TV shows, I did a little piece on still photography and how to photograph a robin. So this year I decided to do it with video. So what I did is I took this piece of metal and attached it to the eave, screwed it in without disturbing before the birds were actually hatched, so I didn't disturb the birds, and then attached to that, I put a ball head and then the camera on the ball head. This idea was to keep the camera away from the bird so we wouldn't disturb the birds as they were being fed and getting ready to leave the nest. There was one minor problem. The camera was shooting up. So what I did is, and this is not something you would normally do, I put a second ball head. Not because I needed a second ball head, because I couldn't figure a way of getting a spacer that thick. Now the camera was what we call plano parallel to the nest, and it allowed us to photograph the birds uh, without disturbing them and keeping the camera level. I used three different lenses. Normally, I would only use one lens. I used a 50 millimeter 1.4. Canon lens. The other lens I used was the 100 macro, which in my opinion is probably the sharpest lens that Canon makes. The third lens I used was the 24 to 105, which for all intents and purposes people consider that an amateur lens. I think it's an absolutely super lens. With the 24 to 105, I was not able to get as close as I wanted, so I used an extension tube, which then allowed me to, to get in as close as I needed to get. The concept here was not necessarily to make the sharpest photograph, but one plane of sharpness and then out of focus. For sound, we use manual sound. I use the Sennheiser, the little tiny Sennheiser, which is one of the least expensive mics around, but great. And what we did is we put the microphone extremely close to the birds. And this is something that is new to me that we started using at Rodeo, Pocket Wizard 3. We were able on the Pocket Wizard 3 to be able to sit in the studio and turn the camera on and off. So we didn't have one continuous run of one hour or an hour and a half. So we utilized the space on the card and we were able, very quietly, with no clicks, no anything, we were able to photograph the birds that way. We did the video at 1600. The eve was extremely dark. I did not want to use any external light to disturb the birds. Our exposures were a, a 30th of a second at f4.5 or f5.6. And the focus points were done manually. Either we photographed on the four chicks and had the mother and the father out of focus or reverse it. The size and the dimension were critical. The camera we used was a 5D Mark III. You could use any one of the Nikons or the Canons. You could pick them up at Adorama. If you have an opportunity, stop by the store. Uh, it's just a wonderful place to shop. Uh, failing that, you can go right to the website and check into the Learning Center. All of the instructors at Adorama TV and in the Learning Center are really geared up for one thing and one thing only, 
trying to make you a better photographer. So this is Joe DiMaggio for Adorama TV. Again, thanks an awful lot. Take care. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.